Hi there, Pete Thomas, the lazy cook, showing you how to make nice easy meals for yourself and your family. Alright, this one comes from my dear friend Emma Baird in Nova Scotia. Hi Emma. And um, this one is a peanut butter pie. Now, um, I'm working off her recipe and she's a cook a bit like me who tends to do things by vision and by sight so we're kind of I'm kind of winging it a little bit here so uh, for the biscuit base you will need some uh, what I've got here is they've got some digestive biscuits uh, and I've got 100 grams of melted butter and the butter I'm using here is a Welsh unsalted butter but use whatever butter you can get your hands on. You can use anything up to, uh, for the filling, you can use anything up to a cup of icing sugar. I'm using just over half a cup um, because I, I don't like things too sweet. Um, you'll need a cup of smooth peanut butter, just the ordinary stuff, don't get too fancy. And you'll need some, about a cup of double cream uh, you can use single cream uh, but I use double cream because it's more fattening and excessive and it upsets the food police and you'll also need uh, I've got a standard tub of cream cheese which is about 200 grams uh, I, I don't know if that's going to be too much but I'll, I'll, I might use half or whole of that I, I don't know yet I'll just see how uh, once I've got the pie filling sorted out. I'm using a 23 inch round uh, falconware enamel pan which is absolutely gorgeous. I'll, I'll put a link to where you can get that in the uh, description. A beautiful en enamelware pan. The internal measurements of which is about an inch deep and about eight inches wide so uh, that's uh, 21 uh, centimeters wide and about three centimeters deep. Okay, on to making the pie crust. I think I'm going to need about a third of these, so I'm just winging it really. So, uh, if the total weight of that was 400 grams, I'm using about 150 grams of digestive biscuits, which I'm transferring to a bowl and I'm going to crunch up. All right, in the end, I had to resort to using my trusty. Uh, pestle to grind up these uh, wonderful digestives. Get them up nice and fine and once you've done that in goes the butter. And you mix that to form the dough base, the uh, biscuit base. There we go. Pour the last of the butter in, make sure that's all in there, because we don't like to waste it, do we, boys and girls? And then that goes into your pie dish. You don't have to worry about greasing it, because it's full of butter. And then all we do is put that into the pie dish and form it into the shape we want to receive the filling. So we spread that out. And then what I like to do is I just like to go down the edge like this to get it up to a height I can work with. I'll just do that a couple more times until I get it to the desired height. I'm sure the good bakers among you are saying, you don't do it like that, you do it like this. But I'm not a good baker. And 
good at eating. Right, I'm fairly happy with that. All right, the next thing I'm going to do now is make my filling. And what we do now with that is I'm going to cook that in the fridge uh, while I'm making my filling. Okay, for the filling. Uh, I want to get in, to start with, I want to get in about half of this cream cheese. So what I'm using is 100 grams of cream cheese. Oh, that looks awesome. Get that in there. And I'll save that for later. What I'll do with that is I'll mix that up with some spring onions and have some spring onion cream cheese. Yum. Get that in the bowl. Introduce my sugar, my icing sugar. Get a little turn on that. And in with my peanut butter. Yum. This all looks very indulgent, doesn't it? I don't really have a sweet tooth, but I think I know someone who will enjoy this. And that's my brother. Just don't tell him that I only put half the amount of sugar in. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll mix that in as well as I can now. Get that all blended in nicely. And into that, uh, use some vanilla essence, good quality, sorry, vanilla extract. And this is a really good quality vanilla bean extract. And I'm gonna put in there just two capfuls, let's say about a dessert spoonful. All right, so mix that in well. Stir that in. And now in goes the cream. Putting all that in. Cup of cream. And then stir to combine all that and get it nice and smooth. It's rather stiff, so you'll have to work rather hard. Now, as every good cook knows, we arrive at our destination by tasting. Oh my God, that is... <laughs> oh, Emma. Oh dear, that is so good. Oh guys, you really got to do this. You've got to try this. I just know how absolutely Moorish and gorgeous that's, that is. I, I, I'm not a great fan of peanut butter, but that is something else. That is something special. Right, we've now got our pie filling, it looks rather a lot. And we've got our lovely biscuit base. So I'm gonna bring that out of the fridge because it should be cooked by now. And I'm doing a quick gauge as to whether that's gonna be enough, but let's, um, let's start filling it in. Because these things can be rather deceptive, I've always thought. And any leftover of that pie filling is, <laughs> is no, not gonna get wasted. Right, those of you with children will know what to do with that. I could imagine myself and my brother fighting over that when we were kids. Like we did with mums when she used to make us a lovely fruit cake. 
Oh, we try. Oh, look at the swirls on that. I'm leaving that like that because that just looks. That looks so good. I'm told now that that will improve if left in the fridge overnight, but uh, I don't know about your house, but in this house, that 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 chances of that surviving the night are pretty slim. Um, so I'm going to put that in the fridge for at least a couple of hours now, and. Uh, by the time my brother gets home, uh, that'll be ready to eat. And about five minutes after that, it'll be gone. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.